All right, so seeing as this is the final, I thought it would be helpful just to go over just a couple uh, test-taking tips or strategies for the final. And of course, you can use these on, on really any math test here, but uh, since the final is here and it is so important, let's go ahead and just talk about some of these. So remember, for the final, you have two hours. Uh, so it's not an hour and 45 minutes like usual. You have a full two hours. And it's probably not really two hours, right? Because by the time you get in and sit down and your professor passes out the exam, you know, maybe it's an hour and 55 minutes or somewhere thereabouts. But you have about two hours to take your exam. So just be aware of that. Uh, it is a combination of multiple choice and short answer. So this is not just a campus specific test. This is not a test that just your professor came up with, but every student at Palm Beach State College across all of our campuses are taking the same final. So it is a combination, like I said, of multiple choice and short answer. For the short answer section, be prepared to recognize correct answers in various forms, meaning uh, you may have the right answer when you work out your problem on your scrap paper, but maybe you didn't reduce, or maybe they're looking for you to rewrite uh, your equation, rearrange uh, your equation in some way in order to get uh, an equivalent answer of what one of your choices are. So just be prepared for that. So for example, what I mean like about, um, and I'm just going to make this up. And so something like, like an answer from test number five from that last chapter that we've been working on. So if you had something like, I don't know, 13 plus 2 radical 6 over, I'll just, again, I'm making this up. Maybe this is what you have on your scrap paper. Just be prepared that as a possible choice uh, answers in, uh, in the multiple choice, this might be displayed as 13 over 15 plus 2 radical 6 over 15, right? These two things are equivalent, but you might have this on your scrap paper, but this is one of the answer choices. So just be aware that uh, correct answers can come in several different forms uh, with multiple choice. So just be on the lookout for that. And of course, with the short answer section, make sure that you're showing all your work just like you normally would for any of the other tests. Uh, we always recommend that you look at the entire test before starting. And once you've done that, you kind of have a sense of what uh, uh, you're going to be tested on. And then go back to the beginning and complete the questions that you feel comfortable with first. And then after you've done all of those, then you can go back and spend some time on the more challenging ones. You don't want to start and get stuck on something that's challenging and uh, you know end up spending 20 or 30 minutes on one question and that prevents you from getting to questions that you could have easily answered except you run out of time right so go through do all of the questions that you can easily dispense with and then go back and concentrate and spend some time on those more challenging questions uh, read all directions carefully right every section is going to have directions please read them carefully they have uh, a lot of useful information in them, right? They tell you exactly what it is that you're going to be doing and what, what they're looking for as far as the answer. And of course, check your answers where you can. I have check in, uh, in quotes there because not all of your questions are going to be able to be checked, but some of them where you are asked to, for example, solve, solve the equation. You know, if they want you to solve for X, well, as soon as you get an answer for X, you can plug that value back into the original equation and see whether or not you get a true statement, right? So a lot of the questions on this test, you'll be able to check yourself and determine whether or not you got them right or wrong. And we're going to go through that as we go through this practice exam uh, here in, in the review series. I'll mention this is a question where you can check yourself and know right away whether or not you got the right answer. So make sure you're taking the time to do that. Um, and then lastly, of course, breathe, take your time, um, go ahead and get relaxed, whatever it is you need to do to kind of center yourself and, uh, and, and find a way to, uh, to do well on the test is what you want to do. I mentioned uh, making sure to get a good night's sleep and make sure that you go in with a, you know, a full stomach. Don't, don't skip a meal before you take your test. You want to make sure that uh, you're good to go and you probably want to use the restroom before you start your exam, you're probably not going to be allowed to leave the classroom once the exam starts. So uh, make sure you do that as well. All right. Um, I'm sure there are many more things I could say here, but um, these
these I think are some of the more important ones. So uh, with that, let's go ahead and take a look at question number one. So here we go. Buckle up, put your tray tables in their upright and locked position because uh, we're going to get into it. All right, this is uh, Joe Brownlee with Palm Beach State, and uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our, our final exam review.